opponent here. Uh, MDM from France. So welcome to the stream. So yeah, I believe this is the second highest rated opponent I played today. I played the GM Aryan earlier and his rating was around 28.30. But yeah, so I'm playing 26.36. So this should be a tough game. So h6. Earlier, my opponent played bishop d7 instead of h6. I haven't looked at this line for so long. I hope my analysis is still OK. Now he has to play d5. Because if e5, I can just take on e5. Yeah, I think the last time I looked at this position was maybe four years ago. And I definitely didn't check win a5, so I'm out of book now. Uh, but I think here I play queen g3, start winning some bishop. Oh, no, here's knight h5. Yeah, so queen g3 was a mistake. Yeah, I should have played bishop e2 first. Yeah, and then queen g3. So now I have a bad position, but hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to hold. So now black is the bishop pair and he has a strong control over the dark squares. He should, he should probably play bishop d4 here and, and castle short. Yeah, so this is going to be a tough game. I think if he played bishop, if he plays bishop b4, I'll reply with rook d3. So that's why he played bishop e7, threatening bishop g5. So I'll play h4 here. Now he can he can probably castle kingside. And then yeah. He has, he has some threats on my king. Like my, my pawn on b2 could get very vulnerable very quickly. Oh, d4. That's a good move. Three. I missed that. Yeah, so he could actually have played d4 even a move earlier. Uh, so the only good sign to me in this game is I'm I'm up more than a minute on the clock. And we're not playing with increments, so he's going to have to speed up. A5, queen g3. Black is obviously clearly better here, but hopefully I can consolidate my position. Hb6 takes fb6. Yeah, I don't care for my position at all. But at least he's got some double pawns, and uh, at least I got some light square control on c4 and b3. Maybe life is not so bad. If we ever get into an end game, then white is even better. Because the knight is stronger than the bishop here in this case. So MDM. You could play rook g6. Attacking the g2 pawn and provoking me to play g4. Uh, but I could reply rook h2 there, the worst case. Uh, 
I can also play h5 next move to, to fix the kingside pawns. So yeah, he definitely misplayed it somewhere. I think he was clearly better, borderline winning a few moves ago. Uh, yeah, so maybe around move 16, he had something better. Maybe bishop f6 instead of e5. But uh, here I should be doing very well. Okay, the question though is how to make progress. <laughs> ah, maybe I have rook a5 here. Bishop a5, knight e5. Uh, I'll just play c3. Just take it slow. Also considering I'm way ahead in the clock. <clears throat> yeah, so, yeah, so the problem with this is, is if you're under a minute, and you have a worse position. It's very difficult to defend. Because your opponent basically can just play forever. Ah, but actually he's doing a very good job holding this position so far. Yeah, so MDM making it very tough to to make progress for me. Yeah, I think Black's doing a magnificent job defending this difficult endgame. He's got counterplay on G2. <clears throat> yeah, don't even know what I'm doing. Hmm. Oh, if you have bishop e3. Aha, maybe I have g4. No, it doesn't work. I need to get this guy on h2 into play. Yeah, not easy to make progress. Uh, what to do? Let's play rook h2. Rook c7. Hmm. Taking e2 doesn't work. Let's start king e2. Bishop g1, knight a5, check. Taking d3. b7, knight a5. Check, take six, rook be four. Yeah, so in the end, I just won on time, but that was a great defense. Couldn't make progress. Maybe I'm just playing badly. Okay, let's play see the master.